When it comes to the deepest parts of the ocean, like in the Mariana Trench, your guess to what exists down there is as good as ours. From time to time, we make a little progress, where a creature comes to shallower waters to say hello. But for the most part, whatever lurks down there remains unknown. Wow! <laughs> My God. Goodness. From horrifying worms to the largest shark ever discovered, here are 15 scary Mariana Trench creatures that you've never seen before. Squid worm. It's neither a squid nor a worm. It's a squid worm. Scientists have discovered a species that could be the missing link between species that live exclusively in the seafloor's mud and those only in the water column. Experts dubbed the newly discovered creature a squid worm because it exhibited characteristics of both species. The creature was revealed to be an annelid. Scientists utilized a remote-operated submersible to search the deep sea when they found the squid worms somewhere between 9,200 feet and 9,500 feet. The newfound species appeared unusual numbers for being a creature residing in such deep water. They measure about the size of the palm of a hand. It tapered body transitions from black to brown coloring as it undulates. The large muscles found just beneath its skin, used for swimming, glow an odd, shimmery, iridescent pink that make it stand out amongst the crowd. Many deep-dwelling creatures are equipped with bioluminescence in some form or another. The glittery bristles along the side of its body help it swim, and ten long appendages hang off its front end are hypothesized to be used for gathering food. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. The deep ocean is home to a trove of mystery. Since humans can't exactly just head on down whenever they want, it lies as a haven of answers to some of the world's most pressing questions. Thanks to incredible pressure, dangerous animals, and lack of light, the deep ocean is a place that will remain in the shade of secrecy for quite some time. Who knows what creatures lie dormant or extinct down there? One thing's for certain, the creatures of the deep are much larger than the shallower lived relatives. Even the ocean bottom feeders and crustaceans are enormously sized. For whatever the reason, the creatures of the extreme deep are bigger and badder. Thanks to no light being present, these creatures have adapted to the darkness in wonderful and terrifying manner. While this photo was undoubtedly fake, it isn't hard to imagine that some beast of this magnitude lives down there. There were monstrous beasts of the past that lived in the ocean, so is it so unthinkable some still lurk in the deep? Kick up a conversation below by using hashtag missing topic to chime in. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? See-through cockatoo squid. 1,000 feet beneath the surface, scientists caught on footage what they called a glass squid. The see-through squid is the first ever discovered of its kind and proves that deep-sea creatures often sport transparency and bioluminescence to deal with the challenges of the constant darkness. The entire creature appeared transparent save for their guts, arms, and bulbous eyes. If there's a creature that looks like an alien floating around, it would certainly be this crazy creature. Translucence is crucial as it's one of the common ways to get away from predators deep in the ocean. Invertebrates, like this one, almost likely sport a similar transparency in the deep. Deep sea predators are highly sensitive to light that penetrates through 1,000 or 2,000 feet of water. This squid were to swim above a predator and alters the lighting or create a silhouette of himself, however faint, that something will likely be snagged by the many awaiting predators. When it comes to deep sea survival, the idea is you create as limited a silhouette as possible. If light travels through, there will be no silhouette. That's also why the glass squids often are found holding their pair of tentacles and eight arms up in the water, as if they're reaching for the sky. They're attempting to limit their silhouette. <laughs> Pac-Man Jelly This alien-like jellyfish was discovered 12,139 feet deep. It's one of the most bizarre creatures near the trench to reach human awareness in years. While experts were able to identify it as belonging to the genus Crosata, they are unable to assign a precise name to the pretty hydromedusa. They recorded the jellyfish floating through the water with its long tentacles extended outwards and its bell motionless. 
suggesting it was lying in an ambush predation mode. Experts went on to say they believe the red color in the bell is the creature's radio canals, while the bright yellow is its gonads. Scientists are busy working the process of collecting information about the little-known deep-water areas in and around the Mariana Trench Marine National Monument, which protects and stretches over an incredible 95,216 square miles of submerged lands and water. They sure have their work cut out for them. <laughs> fan Fan Anglerfish Do all the creatures of the deep have to be so darn scary? When it comes to the anglerfish, they're the true nightmares of the ocean from their appearance down to their behavior. Even the mating process is more like a horror show than a beautiful trait of life and nature. For some time, the only discovered sex of the anglerfish had been females. Don't worry, scientists were confused for years. So, where did all the males go? A decade after their first discovery, they discovered a female with two babies attached at her underbelly. This posed even more questions as to how and when the male mated. Another two years of study would pass until they would finally discover the answer. What they were seeking was right beneath their noses. It turns out they were asking the wrong questions the entire time. The male angler had already been discovered, but it was misclassified because of a widely different appearance. The male anglerfish is more an appendage of the female than a living, breathing creature. The males are entirely reliant on the female for living. Without them, they would shrivel up and die. Males can't hunt eat, even defecate on their own volition. The nightmarish angler females feed their male counterparts as if they were babies for all their life. Experts claim the males exist for the female to reproduce nothing more. Hard life. <laughs> Deep Sea Christmas Tree There isn't much information on this elusive plant dubbed Forscalia formosa, but scientists have at least classified it as some sort of siphonophore. Siphonophores are a collection of highly specialized working parts. Some catch prey, others digest food, and others still reproduce and swim. The siphonophore creates its own light with bioluminescence. While the deep sea is certainly far away, it's not as far as to be beyond the reach of human activity. That's to say the creatures of the deep are affected by what we humans do on the surface or pollute to the bottom. They often take on the shapes of many different things, including the likes of Christmas trees. Of course, they don't know they're taking on the form of the Christmas tree, but it's still cool to see a glowing white Christmas tree floating through the ocean. <laughs> Long-armed squid The Mariana Trench is home to the largest collection of unidentified and little known about creatures on the Earth. Nearly every creature that exists down there has rarely been studied, and the ones that have have been conducted on deceased specimen. All we can do is speculate and draw comparison from what we know about the shallow cousins of the species. This long-armed squid, for instance, is reminiscent of its shallower swimming relative, but loaded with deep sea attributes that make the creature of the deep so horrifying. Glow-in-the-dark shark if the classification pocket shark conjures images of cuddly-sized sharks that can fit your pocket, you're not far from the mark. Though the pocket shark is widely considered cute by comparison to its larger, more dangerous relatives, everyone is mostly aware that the shark have predominantly bad raps of violence and manhunting. They're just trying to survive like the rest of the life on the planet. If you're one of those who find this to be true, maybe the pocket shark can change your mind on the true nature of a shark. The pocket typically only reaches sizes of about six inches long. The name pocket is a play on words, both hinting at its small size and the fact that the shark itself appears to have pockets. Just beneath the dorsal fins lie pockets containing bioluminescent fluid. It can glow in the dark like so many of the other deep-sea dwelling creatures in existence. Though the actual use of this fluid is unknown, what is known of the other deep dwelling creatures is it's utilized for hunting and or mating. The tiny deep sea shark was initially discovered in the Gulf of Mexico in 2010. It's only recently been classified as an entirely new species and is one of only two pocket sharks ever discovered. As if out of magic, the species has disappeared almost entirely. <laughs> Predatory tunicate there are thousands of different species of deep sea marine invertebrates in the ocean. Ranging all different sizes, shapes, and colors, they're an impressively diverse species. One of these invertebrate species, the tunicates, is of particular interest to scientists and casual observers alike. Around 3,000 different species have been discovered in their saltwater habitats across the globe. 
Though tunicates are invertebrates, animals lacking a backbone, they're classified as part of the phylum chordata, which includes animals with backbones like humans. This shift of classification may seem bizarre, but the answer lies deep within their DNA. Scientists believe tunicates are actually the distant relatives of humans. Can you believe that? They suspect a DNA split millions of years ago, with one going in the direction of human evolution and the other in the form of these blobs. While scientists are insatiably trying to discover its secrets, the tunicates just float around the deep ocean without a care in the world, even if those revealed secrets could change much of medical science. You be the judge which species gets the better of the deal of the two. <laughs> Gross Acorn Worm Acorn worms have long been thought of as shallow water animals that reside in burrows in the seafloor. Only four species were known to live in deep water. However, a recent study by several marine biologists show that these bizarre worms are exclusively found in deep ocean environments around the world. The research introduced 13 new species of these crazy animals. These creatures have no bones, eyes, or a brain. Their bodies consist of three main parts, a long, worm-like trunk, a wide collar around the mouth, and a large proboscis that fills the mouth and extends like a tongue beyond it. Most acorn worms use their mouths and proboscises to slurp up sediment and debris that settled on the seafloor. They rarely need to leave their burrows in the deep sea. Green Eye Squid The strawberry squid, or the green-eyed squid, is a member of a classification of squid called the cockeyed squids. Is they're aptly named so because one eye is much larger than the other. Experts believe that the smaller eye has evolved to look down, watching for predators from the depths, while the larger eye looks up, trying to detect the shadows of potential prey against the limited light from above. Many of the animals found in the midwater zone create their own light so that they may disappear entirely should they need to evade a predator. This process is called counterillumination, and the green-eyed squid is a master of the form. In the game of survival in the wild, this squid's much larger eye has evolved to include a lens containing a fluorescent pigment that absorbs blue light. Researchers think this allows the squid to detect prey whose counterillumination doesn't perfectly match the dim light above it. Hmm. World's Biggest Shark This shadowy appearance of this monstrous shark appears from footage of the Mariana Trench. This behemoth is estimated to be the largest species of shark ever discovered and could be a new species entirely. Scientists are eagerly trying to learn whether the shark species is new or a derivative of a more common species. Either way, this behemoth lurks in the deepest parts of the ocean known to man. If it is indeed a predator of the deep, it's likely one of the alphas. The footage was recorded at depths of around a mile by Japanese equipment for marine biology study. Just imagine the surprise on those scientists' faces as they watch the monitors to find this monster swimming past. We know the Mariana Trench is home to some of the most bizarre creatures on the planet, but this is just ridiculous. Scientists estimate the beast measures a whopping 60 feet long. <laughs> Creepy Frilled Shark The frilled shark is one of the creepiest on the planet. It's as terrifying to talk about as it is to imagine this monstrosity. The frilled shark could easily be used as a subject for a horror film. With row after row after row of razor-sharp teeth, the frilled shark is a terrifying predator that can slice through its prey with surgical precision with those razor teeth. It appears more eel than a shark. Little is known about the creature's ecology. Only recently have scientists deciphered their place in the extensive aquatic food web. Before these creatures were suspected to be too slow to capture quick prey in the deep. Still, the research demonstrated that they enjoy dining on squid, bony fish, and other small fish, and some of the most elusive and quick creatures of the ocean don't stand a chance. I know the look on its face might look kind, but behind that smirk resides 300 dangerous, trident-shaped teeth laid out in a stunning 25 rows. This is one sea fish you don't want to bite you. This is a vicious predator whose bite could gnaw through flesh and armor as easy as pie. <laughs> Viperfish There are some creatures of the deep that should stay undiscovered. Some are so terrifying they could have pulled straight from a horror tale. 
either the viper fish, a fish so bizarre and horrifying it could give the bravest of people the chills with a simple glance, they were first discovered in 1986, but in all the years since, only a few more have ever been seen, and they've washed up ashore dead. That's hardly any subject to go off. With such little time spent studying, the species is relatively mysterious. Experts know general detail that could be surmised from the corpses. A living specimen would provide answers to many questions. The aptly named viperfish is a deep-sea-dwelling shark species. In 2003, a study took 39 of the known perished specimens to determine their physical characteristics. They found that in addition to having a powerful bite with razor-sharp teeth, the species also had an extendable jaw, allowing them to shoot out their mouths and catch unsuspecting prey. By studying their teeth and ejection angle of their jaw, the predator is suspected to be that of a ramming attacker, a predator that rams into their prey mouth wide so that their teeth sink deep on impact. After the bite is solid, it retracts its jaw to a vice-like grip on its prey. By analyzing its contents of their stomachs, scientists have found that they eat prey whole. Their body can expand slightly like a serpent, so take in the prey as it slowly digests. On the surface of their skin, tiny cells called photophores help emit light in the deep sea, which could be used for mating or hunting in the blackness of the deep. Goblin Shark This crazy shark looks exactly how you might imagine it looking. The goblin shark, as it was dubbed, looks like an even more hideous version of the fantastical creature from whence its name originated. Take a look, it's undeniable. Most images conjured when describing a goblin are typically pervaded with the notion of hideous. Goblins are inherently ugly. With the goblin shark, this characterization remains true. It has a shovel-like snout, chubby body, and a tail with an oddly developed lower lobe. One of the most distinctive and terrifying aspects of this beast is its protractable mouth. The mouth can retract or extend depending on the situation it needs and offers many advantages over its prey. While swimming, it carries drag so it typically is retracted in the form. While hunting, it launches its jaw from its mouth with a sudden burst of speed to catch its prey by surprise. While it's relatively harmless to humans, the crustaceans, this beast is their worst nightmare. It primarily feeds on them, baby squid and other fish. Lizard fish, and you thought there couldn't be any crazier looking teeth out there. The deep sea lizard fish is a nightmarish creature with enough influence on human perception to keep people from ever entering the ocean again. This beast comes to us as if it were ripped straight from the pages of mythology. While it was first observed early on in human history, the lizard fish was first deemed a sea monster. Its mythological creature looking features indeed suggest a prehistoric monster, unlike most modern fish you see today. With a spiky top fin and teeth like knives, no typical human would ever approach these beasts with an open hand. Though they resemble shallow water lizard fish, the deep sea variant grows much larger and is much more aggressive. They don't need a partner to reproduce as they're equipped with both male and female sex organs. Because of this ease of reproduction, they're healthy in population number. The deep sea is just as elusive as the farthest reaches of space. The insane pressure and lack of oxygen isn't so different. There are thousands, if not millions of creatures that exist in the deep that humans have yet to ever see. Until the day we can lay eyes on the dangers of the deep ourselves, the crazy creatures down there will remain shadowed in mystery and darkness. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.